Okay, this is Max's Roadmap to Success, and I just wanna go over a couple of things we talked about in today's session. One of the first things we talked about was exercise. So he's a young dog. We wanna make sure he's getting plenty of exercise and that his um, you know, exercise needs are being met. So currently, the owner's already doing a really great job with him where they've been taking him for a walk every day for about 30 minutes and then playing ball with him for about 20 to 25 minutes. So all I ask them to do is kind of switch that up a little bit and say maybe go for a 10 to 15 minute walk each day because he's young and put more energy and time into playing ball. It would even be great to play ball with him for 10, 15 minutes in the morning first thing so he's not in the kennel all day with all that energy being pent up and then playing ball maybe later in the, when you get home from work and then maybe one more time before bed. If anything, it's better to do a couple of 15 minutes um, exercise sessions with a short walk somewhere in between when it's convenient than to try to sit down and play ball for like 45 minutes to an hour straight because you'll get tired but that energy will come back. So better to break it up. As for the walk, since we're working on him not being so reactive to people and dogs, I wanna encourage you to walk him at time periods when there's gonna be less foot traffic out, less people out, things like that. So if there's a mo more people, try to keep a shorter walk so he's not exposed to that as long, or go earlier in the morning or later at night, just to kind of maintain that. But walking is still great, it's good exercise, but it's really great for him to kind of get you know, to smell his environment and just be a dog. So that's really awesome. So I don't want to take that away from him. But definitely playing fetch. Remember the dog food trick where when he comes back with the ball, give him a piece of dog food to get him to drop the ball, say drop it, ask him to sit, and then have him go forward. Speaking of having him sit, um, we want to keep using our petting with a purpose mindset, having him sit before you give him attention and let him do things that he wants to do. So if he's going outside, ask him to sit before he goes through the doorway. When you go to pet him, have him sit. The purpose of that is to stop him from being so impulsive to just going from one thing to the next. When you throw the ball, ask him to sit so he has to gain that self-control before he takes off after the ball. Other things we talked about, um, we I'll refer you to the video above this one for the bat training, but to help him with getting to know new people, once he is in close proximity, he's good at catching treats, which is awesome. So have him catch treats. Have people toss him treats, kind of like tossing it to him like popcorn, and let him build up that trust. Again, I don't want people to initiate contact with him in the beginning. I want him to come over and solicit attention from new people. That way he feels like he's in control. He's had time to smell them, get to know them better, and then he's seeking attention. That's the best method possible. Um, you can bring him to Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards to practice some of this type of stuff. Um, if, again, if people ask to pet him, just say, no, not right now. Um, and just let him practice being around people, approaching people, walking away, where he's starting to learn that he can be confident and calm around new people without them kind of um, infiltrating his personal space and his bubble. Um, that leads me to the other part, is when you're at home with him, if he's hyper and anxious, don't pet him. You only wanna pet him when he's being calm. Because if you pet him when he's hyper or anxious, you're essentially training him to think that that kind of mindset or that mood of being hyper and anxious is what gets him attention. So he is more likely to go into that uh, mindset when he's meeting new people. If you guys always work on training him to be calm at home, that will also start to overflow into him meeting new people and dogs where he's starting to learn that a calm mindset is the best one. And again, that doesn't replace his energy needs being met through exercise, but putting them together is what's really gonna make a big difference for him. Also keep him off the furniture for the next 30 days or until he's starting to be the kind of dog that you feel comfortable with having people around him. Then it can be furniture with permission um, by asking him to sit and then inviting him up on the furniture. And then last, I just wanna remind you that everything you do trains your dog, only sometimes you mean it.